Well, we left Albany, Oregon this morning and we're heading up to Mount Hood to an area called Lost Lake, which is where a friend of mine is. And right in front of us now is Mount Hood. Oh, not yet. Well, not yet. That's all clouds in front of us right now. But uh, we're going to head up there. Uh, Timberline Ski Resort of Oregon. Uh, we're going to take a look at that. Uh, we actually did some teaching at Timberline Ski Resort in West Virginia. Nowhere near as high, as big, as nice or anything else. But it uh, was nice and cozy. So uh, we'll take some more pictures as we get a little bit closer to it. We did have a good look at it back a little ways where you could see it. Uh, clouds are just looks like it's just building up on this side of the mountain. I guess that's why they get so much snow there because the moisture coming off of the ocean uh, hits that mountain and builds up and dumps it with snow. Understand uh, from uh, somebody I talked to that uh, lives in Oregon, quite familiar with it, they said the Timberline is actually open all year for skiing that people come from other countries over here just to ski uh, off season and everything on it. So it's built back in the 1930s. So hopefully when we get up to the lodge, we'll see. They said there's still a good bit of snow up there. So right now the road looks good, but uh, we'll keep looking ahead of us and see. Okay, stuff come. Oh, we just passed quote unquote a town, all we did was see one or two buildings called Zigzag, Zigzag, Oregon. There must be a story somewhere behind that name of Zigzag. We are now going through the town of Rhododendron. We just went through Zigzag, uh, good thing you saw that, and that was just Rhododendron we went through. Sign said 10 miles. And we turn on to Timberline Highway, Expressway, something, yeah, something, something like that. Timberline Expressway. Oh, I think we found a story of why it's called, the uh, town's called Zigzag, because we just went over the Zigzag River. And I'm sure the Zigzag River, I wonder why that was called the Zigzag River. Maybe because it zigzags a lot, so. Oh, oh well, we've been going uphill the whole time for the last 10 miles, I guess, straight on, straight on up. Notice the trees and all of the tall pines and everything. Stayed at a real nice campground uh, last, uh, actually for the last three nights in Albany, Oregon. Usually don't talk about campgrounds too much, but this one was real nice. It was called the Blue Ox. Blue Ox. It was just bought out about a year and a half ago under new management. Great infrastructure, and uh, they are clean, as, uh, clean as clean as a whistle, and just a uh, real good place if you're around Albany, Oregon. Want to stay at a real nice campground right off of RV Park? It was called. I'm sorry, uh, right off of Route Five. No more than uh, two miles, maybe three at the most. So real easy to get on and off, quiet. The park was full last night, but it was just as quiet as could be. Really nice, nice place. Well, as the sign said, falling rocks next three miles. So if we get hit by a big boulder, this will be the end of the story. But we're still climbing. We're starting to get into the cloudy area where these clouds build up against the mountain here. Uh, there you go, listen to this. Another good shot of Mount Hood. Pops up behind those trees there every once in a while. We just passed Ski Bowl East and Ski Bowl West. Well, I so, might have heard that. I might have read that. Well, might be right, might be wrong. But that parking lot's big parking lot's over here to the right and some uh, looks like some lodges and everything else. So I would imagine it is some uh, ski areas right through here. So. I guess we're getting close, but we're still not on Timberline Highway yet. Turn left onto Timberline Highway. Oh, here we are, Timberline Highway. Altitude is 3,900 feet. 
doesn't seem like much, but when we probably left almost sea level or maybe a couple hundred feet above it, but here we are turning on Timberline Highway, going up to the 5.4 miles left of this, which is a pretty good incline. It's a good thing we got this diesel. I'm gonna make it up here in a gasoline engine. I think Mount Hood is right at the edge of the clouds. Well, here we are coming right around the corner. Won't be long now. There she is. Oh yeah, they're dropping off there. Look at that. Oh my. And hey, there she is, Mount Hood, right there in front of us. Doesn't look too impressive probably through the viewfinder that I'm seeing here, but when you look at the windshield, it is just massive mountain there in front of you. See, she's got snow on the top of it. This Mount Hood is 11,250 feet. No small mountain. And what's impressive is that uh, well, we start almost at sea level and you know when you see this mountain off at a distance it's just humongous sticking up there. Well let's take a look what we see around here. Uh, there's the lodge right there in front of us, built in 1938. We're gonna go through that and take a tour of it. And people have said it's really impressive to see. How you like that for a uh, campsite? Of course, it might be a little chilly tonight staying there. So, but we don't know where we're gonna stay. Do you like Timberline? Yeah, see this isn't like the same Timberline that I was out in West Virginia, but hey, they're pretty impressive mountains up there. You like that? What do you think about Timberline, Crystal? Huh? Think it's pretty cool? Would you like to go playing in the snow here sometime? Maybe we'll have to do that. Okay. I think you need to feed him a little bit better. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> yeah, he's a little skinny. He's pretty chunky. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was just kidding. Oh, okay. I was just being facetious. Yeah. <laughs> she eats well. Yeah. As every dog should. Right? That's right. That's right. I could hug. Woo, woo, woo. Oh, that's right. <laughs> so don't talk about not feeding me. <laughs> I understand. I won't say, I won't mention it again. Yeah. She's gonna give you talking to Yeah, dog. that's right. Dog should <laughs> do, you, do you like steak? Steak? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You like steak? What else do you like? You like chicken? Yeah, nothing crazy about chicken. How about brown swagger? You don't even know what that is. How about liverwurst? Yeah, he is bored about that. Steak is the thing, though, right? There you go. <laughs> okay, we'll see you. Look at the cloud covering half the mountain. That's pretty cool. It's gonna cover the whole mountain here soon. I bet you it's snowing up there now. So you're from France? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, you come over here just to ski? Listen. Yes. Yeah. Say something in France so we know. Oh. What do you want uh, us to do? Uh, say how are you? Bonjour, <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, there you go. <laughs> you speak better English than I do French, let's put it that way. <laughs> and that's not saying too much. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks for coming over. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's good talking. What is your names? Florian. Florian? Yes, and I'm Clem. 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 Clem and Florian. Yes. Okay. That's it. Very good. All right. Well, thanks a lot for yeah, the talking yeah. to us. Boy, he's in his element now, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Loves it here. He wants. So he want to stay here all year. Hey, guy. Alaskan Malmute. Yep. What? Yeah. yeah. Good for you. Yeah. Most people say husky. Husky. Oh. No. He's like twice the size of a husky. Yeah. yeah. The yeah, they're huskies are more coyote looking. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, they're real okay. wily looking. 
Oh, yeah. Around like 30 to like 55 pounds. Yeah, kind of. Kind of wily coyote looking, yeah. And he just looks like a wolf, don't yeah. you? Smile, can you smile? Huh? Oh, can you smile? Yeah, I like that. I like that tail. So what? There's some ski camping. How you doing? Good. That looks like an oldie but goodie. Yeah. What year is that? 1980. Well, come join us next as we take a uh, tour at Timberline Lodge, built in 1938, a CCC or WPC project dedicated by Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so you don't miss any episodes. We'd love to hear your comments.